Hey guys, Chris here, your superstar manifestation bestie, and I'm so excited to talk to you today about why your star frequency is your spiritual identity. And so in the Bible, what it says is that the wise man builds their house on rock and that the foolish man builds their house on sand. Obviously, we can interpret this through faith, right? And so when we hold our faith in God, when we hold our faith in the universe and we trust, what we're doing is we're building our house on rock. But what I want to talk about specifically when it comes to the star frequency is where do you hold your identity? For people that are moving into expanded states of more visibility, more fame, more receiving, more opportunities, more expansion, what's going to happen is that people will come out of the woodwork and dissent. They may hate hate you, they may be jealous of you, but what you're here to do as you start to shine in your star frequency, Lady Gaga says, if somebody's blinded by your light, tell them to put some sunglasses on. Because basically, when you're stepping into the fullness of who you are and who God has called you to be, you're going to emanate such a bright light that it may blind other people that don't yet fully understand who you are. However, this is the trick, is to build your house on rock, meaning to say, build your spiritual identity in God. Do not let any hater, do not let any dissenter, any person on the internet, any person in your family, any friends, any person out there tell you who you are. You, know, you need to know who you are inside and what God says you are. That is building your house on rock. That is holding the star frequency. And instead, what most people do is they build their house on sand, meaning to say that they seek attention from others. They seek approval. They seek validation from other people. Well, guess what? When you build your house on sand and you seek out that external validation, all of this validation outside of you, that will crumble. That is not sustainable. And the higher you get in terms of success and expansion and visibility, you will need to have a strong foundation. Where that comes, it comes from spiritual worthiness. It comes from your spiritual identity. The fact that you are a unique emanation of love and light on this planet here to do amazing things. So ask yourself today, when you feel frenetic or you feel pulled by your boss or friends or you know the partner, romantic people, whoever it is, and say, where is my foundation? Who's defining who I am? Who's defining my value? That's the quickest way to build your house on rock. Solid rock is a frequency of, of being in your superstar identity, which is also being in your spiritual identity. So that's my tip. And if you uh, want to know more about this, I'm actually doing an intimate manifestation uh, masterclass all around the star frequency. And I'm also, starting in January, hosting an amazing container, an expressed accelerator with one of my spiritual besties named Michael Edwards. And it's going to be a three-month expansion container with other high performers, other people that are now leaning in and stepping into their identity as a spiritual disruptor and leader. And so DM me if you want to know more about that. But I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys soon.